Show some, show some, um... You're gonna run out of gel? I am. Welcome back to the channel guys. A long awaited video that you have been requesting from James and myself. We're gonna be talking you through the networking setup here at Custodian, and we're gonna be talking about the A feed, the B feed, how it's provisioned typically in a customer setup, and we're actually gonna show you how we do it on the switch with span entry. So stay tuned, roll that intro. So we're going to go into pod 11 guys, we're going to show you how we get it set up for the customer. We've got two switches in the rack ready to go, so come along with us and we're going to show you what goes on. Right. Okay, so we're at uh, a rack here, one that we would normally deploy to a customer, but in this case it's actually ours. Um, so we're using this as a good example for you at home as to how we would deliver a cable and then how we would install switches and then eventually in the next video for how we would actually configure them. So as standard we provide a red and a green cable and they normally come with labels so you know what's what. We tell the customer what label is uh, connected to what device and so if there's ever a problem we can just quote a number to them and they know what the connection is. So the idea is we connect one cable to one switch and one cable to the other switch and then have an interconnect between the two switches. And then if one of these dies, everything should still stay online if you can configure it properly. So that's what we're going to look at today. Uh, do 38 and 36. Okay guys, so as James explains, we've got a red and a green cable which connect back to the core routers. We're actually going to mount two switches here. So the switches we're going to be installing today are two Cisco 2960Gs. So these are 48 port switches and they're fully gigabit capable, which means every port can output and take in one gig a second. The reason we're using these is because they're cheap, they do the job because they're literally just switching at one gig. And we've got these nice little ports here that we can actually use as our uplinks. Uh, and they, they just work ultimately. So we're going to get these installed, we've already got cage nuts in, James and I are going to install them real quick and then we'll pick it up once we connect stuff and we'll go from there. Ooh. Flush. Quick. Yeah, flush. So we're just screwing it in. As you notice, I'm screwing in the bottom bit first because then that means that Ash can let go sooner. to uh, connect up the power to the switches. We have an A and a B feed, and uh, for most customers, they choose our fully diverse power, and that is provided by two PDUs to the rack. Okay, so as James explained, we've got two feeds. When we provide this to a customer, they're from separate routers, everything is completely separate. So the feeds that we give you, we give a customer as feed one and feed two, but internally we know it as A and B. What this means is the customer is responsible for the failover. So we'll give them two feeds capable of failing over, but the customer needs to configure their end with spanning tree so that it actually fails over in the really unlikely event we lose a router. Why do I say unlikely event? Because all of our routers, they got two power supplies, they got two brains from yeah. various dark fibers, tier ones, other routers. Everything is highly resilient within our network. Um, it's also why we're proud to brag of our 100% uptime record because of the resilience we've built in. So these two cables connect you to the internet. Both of them are active, but one of them, typically you would configure it so that one of them would be your primary and one of them would be your failover using spanning tree. So, 
we will connect these to the 22960s, one to each switch, and then in the next video, we're actually going to show you the config. We're going to show you the configuration of those particular ports, the spanning tree, VLANing, the lot. We're going to show it to you in the next video. But for now, we're just going to get these connected up and then we're going to call it a day, really. So these have been routed through the top of the rack. They're coming on. They're coming in on the right because they're plugging into these ports here. And what port should we go for? I think port 48. Is I think 48, port yeah. So, effectively, when we connect these, we want to make it as neat and as tidy as possible. So, I want to go around here because then I can push the excess down the side. Normally I'd loop it, but for now I'm just going to leave it hanging just because the SD card is going to get full otherwise. So we're going to go straight into 48 here with the first feed. And then we're going to do the same with the second. So we're going to go in this way. And we're also going to go into port 48 on this switch. So when we plug these cables in, you may have noticed that they didn't actually have a light next to them on the, on the switch. Now, the reason for that is because by default, we like all ports to be shut down. Why? If we plug it into the wrong port that's on the wrong VLAN, we could upset something or potentially someone. So all the ports are shut down. So we'll connect it, we'll do the port config, and then we'll raise the port, uh, which of course we're gonna be doing in the next video. Okay, so that's going to conclude this video for today. What you want to do is you want to catch us for the next one. In the next video, what we're going to be doing is actually configuring the switches. So if you've already got some of these at home, or actually if you've got some of the little computer programs at home that do the same emulation of these, you can follow along. Essentially, we'll just go through like a really basic setup. We'll get the span entry working, we'll get the port channel working. And uh, if you're following along, let us know in the comments because uh, it would be really great to know about that. So we'll catch you in the next one. Do you want to say goodbye? Say goodbye. Yeah. See you in the next one, guys.